And what's really neat about this amp is, boom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's try that again. What's going on everyone? I got a pretty cool amp dyno video coming your way. Now this amp was sent to me by my buddy Keenan. He is a Best Buy install tech and he works out in Monroeville and I just happened to stumble across this amplifier on Facebook Marketplace. I'm always looking for stuff to test or just for my own personal benefit. And uh, I seen it was listed for $70 and I'm like, hmm, that's not bad. Irwin, huh? Okay, let me take a, oh my, it's Keenan's freaking amp. I'm like, dude, can you please send that to me so I can just test it real fast, help you sell it, and boom, there we go, win-win, right? So here we have the DX 400.4 kicker. Now this thing's pretty cool because it comes with the box and everything. Uh, it has the fit technology built inside. Uh, let's open it up and see what we got. So the first thing you're going to see is the certified dyno sheet right there, which is pretty cool. It says 424 watts. Let's see if we can beat that. Um, and then after that, we have the manual. This thing is like it's brand new. He kept everything, which is very nice. Uh, we got the manual right here. We'll open that real fast. And it still has the kicker sticker, which is awesome. This is cool. So take the uh, amp out of the box. Got the little holders for the uh, styrofoam, yada yada. And there we go. We have the kicker DX 400.4. There's the uh, speaker terminals there, four channels, shows how to bridge, 225 amp fuses, and there's the input terminals for your power remote and ground. On this side, we have all your um, dials for your gain, your crossover, your bass boost, all that kind of stuff. Um, and your crossovers for, you know, if you want to just play bass out of the two channels or if you want to play mid-range on the other two channels, you, you have a lot of control with these kind of amplifiers. That's why I do suggest people, you know, when you're first getting into car audio and you want to save some money and you want just a little bit of bump and to upgrade your sound in the front of your car, the best way is a four channel. Bridge the uh, rear two channels for a subwoofer and then the other two channels you can run your four speakers because they are two ohm stable on each channel and your average door speaker is a four ohm. So you can run it down to two ohms, you're just going to have left and right, you won't have front and rear, but we're not making surround sounds in our cars, not really. <laughs> So it, it does work. Yeah, this is cool because this does have the DC offset. So um, technically you can run this without a remote wire and it will turn on. That's nice for like stock car applications um, where you don't have a head unit remote turn on or something of the sort. That's what's pretty cool. It will read the, uh, the pulse from the speaker because uh, certain cars will turn on and play a DC pulse through the speaker and this amplifier can pick that up knowing that the speaker is on. And last but not least, we have the manual here. Now, nothing too crazy in here. Um, it lists that the amp will do for the DX 400.4. It's got the 200.4 and the 400.4 in here. And we're gonna do the 400. So it says 50 watts by four uh, at four ohms. And then if you run it down to two ohms, you can get 100 watts on each channel at uh, two ohms certified on four channels. And then of course, bridge 200 by two. So we should see 400 watts out of this amp. As you can see right over there, it says 424. So what we're gonna do a little bit different today, we're gonna run, we're gonna uh, uh, wire down all four channels on our two ohm run, and we're gonna <laughs> clamp it all together and see if we can get over that 424 watts. Cause I do see your comments guys, where, Oh, all the channels aren't driven and this and that. And you know, I, I tested it off camera and you do see a little bit of a difference, um, especially being ran really low, really pushing your power supply section of your amplifier to the limit. But other than that, man, a lot of amps have very overbuilt power supplies. So even if you are driving all four down, you know, you're gonna have enough power supply to whatever. 
it's more with the technology and how they built the amplifiers to do certified at whatever power. Um, there's a lot more to it than that. I'm no professional professional, so I'm not gonna outspeak what I know. Um, and then it says require, uh, requires four gauge uh, or an 80 amp fuse. So nothing too, too crazy, but uh, heck yeah, man. It's got all the wiring um, configurations, you know, basic kicker stuff. Um, and then they put in here, you know, other stuff where, you know, if you get lost, what could be the problem? Pretty generic stuff, but a lot of people don't know that. So without further ado, let's go throw this thing on the dyno, see if it does certified, and uh, let's just have some fun, man. This is a pretty cool amp. And it's what's crazy is this is the entry level of the kicker four channels so and this is a bigger one it's gonna be fun all right we got the kicker dx 400.4 this is the 2011 series amplifier we're gonna do the four ohm certified run on one channel uh let's see what we can get up to one percent thd it's rated at 50 watts Not bad, we were able to get 65 to 70 watts certified at 1% THD on our four ohm run. Uh, not bad. Now let's do the uh, uncertified run and see what we can get uh, maybe up to 10% THD. Let's see what we can get. Not bad. <laughs> we just did the two ohm rating, uh, uncertified at four ohms at 4.8% distortion. Now this is only one channel, mind you. Uh, so next up, we're, we're gonna do, um, we'll do the two ohm run, but we're gonna do it on two channels out of four. Uh, so we should see 200 watts. It is rated 200 by two at four ohms bridged. Not bad, 235 watts certified bridged at four ohms on two channels. So we're seeing what 115, 117.5 watts on each channel at two ohms, but this is only two channels out of four, so not bad. Uh, let's see what we can get uncertified up to about 10% uh, THD, and then we're gonna uh, run all four channels driven and see what it can do. So next up is uncertified. Try to keep it under 10% THD and see what we can get. Not bad. 4% uh, THD, we got 332 watts on two channels out of four so if you would want to run this on your uh system as you know sub on two channels and your mids and highs on the other two channels uh this would do this would do good um you got 330 watts at four ohms so you're gonna see anywhere from 100 to 200 watts realistically so the final run what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, strap all four channels, not strap, but we're gonna wire them all up. Um, and then we're gonna try to do two ohms on each channel, all four channels driven. And we're gonna try to get the certified number and see if we can still get that 400 watts that's on the box. So I'm gonna hook up two more speakers here. Yes, all my tests are reactive loads. This is real world stuff here. Um, no resistive loads. Resistive loads maybe in the future. Uh, I would like to keep doing the reactive loads even when I do get the resistive loads. Um, that would be a cool test to do in the future too, the difference between the two. 
because I've noticed um, some issues when wiring too low to get whatever impedance I want to get. Regardless of my rise, the amp would kind of not do what I wanted it to do. And um, yeah, so, and then I would just run a different subwoofer rising to the same impedance, but not start so low and it would do rated. So there was definitely something with that. Let's reset this. And this is all four channels driven, 100 watts per channel, two ohms. Uh, let's see what we can get. <laughs> so close we got 385 watts uh so almost 100 watts per channel 15 watts off altogether what's that three four watts 96 watts per channel roughly um oh, there's kip right now um so not bad yeah this is actually the second time me testing this I had to ask Kip some questions because uh, I, I was kind of surprised. But I got a little bit more out of that run with a softer roll, but still didn't do certified. But that's pretty darn close for a budget amplifier. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to do an uncertified run. Same thing we did with all four channels driven and uh, see how much power this amp can do. Again, try to keep it under 10% THD and let's send it. Wow, not bad. We were able to get 519 watts out of this amp on all four channels driven at two ohms per channel at 3.4% distortion. That's not bad. I'm not going to complain on that. Yeah, I didn't do technically, technically rated at 1% THD by a few watts. But look at that. We got 519. We got an additional, additional 120 watts and we're only giving up two more percent on distortion. I'll take it. All right, so that was the amp dyno of the Kicker DX400.4. This amp did pretty well. Um, it did rated at 4 ohm certified. Um, the only time it didn't do certified rated numbers is when all four channels were driven and it was only 15 watts off. So if you want to call that a fail, go ahead. Um, but this thing did another 100 watts at 3% THD. It was like 516 or something like that on all channels driven at two ohms each. So this thing can really put out the power. It's budget friendly. Um, now the problem is it is discontinued. This is an amp that is 10 years old, but you can still see them floating around. So if you see this video from, you know, looking it up and trying to find out how much power it actually does, here you go. Um, yeah, um, this thing's awesome. I really like it and uh, it's not too, too big, but Heck yeah, uh, it's got awesome protective safety features and stuff like that, and uh, it did rate it. I like it, and it's got all kind of, you know, um, where you can run two RCAs for all four channels, which is nice. It has that fader option, um, and obviously bass boost, you know what I mean? But uh, here, let me uh, take this apart, and I'll show you guys the amp guts. There's something really cool with this amp. where most amps do not do this, which is cool. What's really cool about this amp, there's only five screws here that hold down the amp case, and then you can pull it up like this, and it opens up like a laptop where you can uh, work on it or just display it, which is pretty cool. So let's take that off before that falls off. And then you can look inside here. Um, we got the Torota coil right there, uh, the power supply section. I like how it shows right there in, in the front, you know, kicker DX 400.4. 
Um, then you can see all the circuitry built inside and the preamp section way at the end here, which is pretty neat. Um, stealthy looking board, nothing too fancy, but it is a four channel. I mean, <laughs> what are you expecting? So nothing crazy, crazy, but yeah, heck yeah, man. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up. And if uh, you guys like kicker stuff, got to check out my other videos, kicker strings on my YouTube channel every week for the kicker unmasked. And I was just on uh, a few days ago and it was a blast. And uh, thank you guys so much for all my followers and uh, stay living loud, everyone. See you guys next time.